come into this tournament 14 and 1 against all of the other opponents here. Uh, by far, you've got to be the overwhelming favorite here. I'd rather know myself that I can actually beat all these guys. And uh, I think the opponents, they know that also in their back of their minds that they have to play great tennis to beat me. At the end of the day, you know, sometimes you've got to live and die you know, on the edge of the sword against you know, a guy such good as Roger. To regain number one, what do you think oh, you should do? Uh, be Roger more. <laughs> <laughs> talk about the world's number one and how damn good Federer is. Yeah, but he is, uh, he's an uh, extraordinary tennis player. I mean, he's just uh, he achieved unbelievable at the age of 23. The way he's playing, it's just he can be one of the best in, uh, of all times. Well, you know, uh, it's normal. I'm the number one in the world, so everybody wants to beat that guy. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see who's going to win this one. The world's number one player eyes up the competition on the first day of the Tennis Masters Cup in Houston. In seven days' time, one of these eight highest-ranked players will lift the coveted trophy. If it's going to be a new champion, he'll have to do what few have done all year, beat Roger Federer. It's an achievement you can be pretty proud of to, to qualify here, but I'm yeah, looking forward to playing well as well. How am I looking? Yes, but first, the players are required to wear the matching and specially designed suits, something some of them are clearly not used to. Has Moya not even got his suit yet? I have, a, I have a pair of 11s, are too small for me. I have an actual pair. Yeah, you want them? Wait a second. These aren't your shoes, are they? Dougie's going to go get them. Yeah, <laughs> you wish, yeah? <laughs> you wish. <laughs> He's got no clothes on. You can go in there if you like. It's a formal type of day for him, uh, in, in the sense that uh, it's the first time the city of Houston's actually been introduced, uh, or the players have been introduced to the city uh, in front of all the crowds. So that mixed in with a whole lot of media obligations, a lot of international press are here. And it's the job of ATP communications manager Iggy Jovanovic to make sure that everything runs smoothly. So they need to tighten up a little bit. Looking by in the middle, guys. There we go. The players are lined up in front of the world's press. These shots will be displayed in papers and on news reports around the globe. It's a seemingly important part of being a top tennis star. You have to smile, answer politely, and make sure that everything looks just right. Yeah, it looks good. Thank you. Your hair's shorter. Yeah, it's yeah. shorter, huh? Yeah, it looks good. Looks Thank great. you. <laughs> yeah, he looks good. He looks all right. He always looks good. He's a nice guy. The West Side Club in Houston will have to wait one more day for the first match of the 2004 Masters Cup. Despite this and the overcast sky, a large crowd has gathered to get a glimpse of the stars as they practice before tomorrow's round robin stage of the tournament. The players have been split into two groups of four. In one half of the draw, there's Marit Safin, who's leapt from 79 to world number five in one season. Guillermo Coria, returning from injury to play for the first time in over three months. Tim Henman, the only man to have beaten Federer this year. And Andy Roddick, world number two, playing on home turf for the second consecutive year. Practicing with Roddick is Argentina's Guillermo Cañas. He's flown to Texas as an alternate and will only play should any of the players be injured. World number one Roger Federer heads up the other group with the 23-year-old former Masters champion, Leighton Hewitt. They'll have to play the cool and talented Spaniard, Carlos Moya and Argentina's Gaston Gaudio, who qualified for Houston by winning the French Open. We saw you the French Open with Korea. We were jumping up and down in the living room. It was fantastic, precioso. Gaudio will need all the encouragement he can get. Tomorrow, he plays his opening match against the only other winner of Grand Slams this year, Roger Federer. No, y seguramente va a ser un partido dificilísimo y bueno, 
Yeah, for sure, we know it's going to be a very difficult match. We know very well that he's been playing the best tennis of his career. Nobody has the key to beat him, but I hope I can make a surprise and beat him. Gaudio will hope that the world number one is still suffering from the thigh strain that's kept him out of competitive tennis for three weeks. Mind you, Federer has won 10 tournaments this year, including the Australian, Wimbledon and the US Open. I have to thank Federer. Federer let me win one because he won all the others. That's the only thing you can say about winning one Grand Slam. For the most part, the players seem pretty relaxed. Maybe they're used to it. Or perhaps they're just soaking up the feeling of making it to the Masters Cup as one of the top eight in the world. For one player at least, it could be the start of a very long night. It's day two at the Westside Club in Houston. Final preparations are underway for the first round of matches in the 2004 Masters Cup. Welcome in, guys. Welcome to Tennis Masters Cup. After a year of meticulous planning and organization, spectators are arriving for the first match of the tournament. Get your programs. Get your programs. Tennis Masters Cup. Get your programs. Get your programs. <laughs> The crowd is excited, waiting to find out if Gaston Gaudio, the small Argentine, can cause an upset like he did in France. As the tension builds, last year's champion is ready to defend his title. Winner after winner flies from Federer's racket. Those who thought his recent injury would hinder him are clearly mistaken. A disappointed Gaston Gaudio returns to his locker room. Losing in straight sets and without a key to his door. With only two matches being played today, half the players are left with some time on their hands. Yeah, but aren't you focused on what these guys are going to do? No. no. Why? I played them off. Yeah, so? That's what I'm worried about. You keep, the, you keep your eye on the other four guys that are playing today? Oh, I'll be interested in what they do, but I don't really expect me until... for in a couple more days, right? Until Friday? No. Okay. Uh, Any predictions, boys? The Let's talk about the World Championship Tennis Masters Cup. Eagles to beat the Cowboys. It's all right, we're going to come to your locker room right now. We'll see what happens. Yeah, Okay. It seems that being a professional tennis star isn't all about thrilling matches in front of huge crowds. Life on the tennis circuit, miles from home, can be slow. Very slow. You better put your shirt on, because most athletes have got a bit of muscle. I know. But I know. you look at you. I know. It's amazing that can be this good. Yeah, you're all bones. Yeah. Skin and bones, let me just cover you. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah there you see. go. There you go. That's better. It keeps me warm. Can you, get, can you put a towel around me as well? Oh, come on, put, put it on. Without the, with the, go, go, put it on. Go, put it on without the shirt. Go, go, go. Let me see it. Texas Tim, look at you. Don't walk off. While Iggy makes the most of embarrassing Tim, six doors up, a German film crew has been invited to the number one suite. They want to know what is lurking behind the door of the largest locker room on the corridor. This includes a glimpse of Federer's shower and even his toilet. 
Such are the demands on the world's greatest tennis player. Come with me. No, 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 I'm not going. Come and see the girls. I want the girls to give you a Girls, out of ten. Out of ten girls. Girls, do a spin for us. Do a spin. Two, two. Hello. vorne waren, haben sie gesagt, hey, wir können es hier auch installieren. Hat sie gesagt, super, oder? Hier Computer organisiert, dann hier noch Fax und eben bist, noch... Bist du ein netter Freak eigentlich? Oh, We're Englishmen! This is oh. how we like it in Texas. You've got your hat. It's yours, mate. I know. There we go. Howdy! Howdy. Howdy. Federer's girlfriend Mirka waits patiently as her partner continues his tour of the facilities. It seems that people are interested in all aspects of the player's life. They only see me on the on the center court in front of the fans, but you know there's very much behind it. You know how do I prepare? What do I do to be ready on the court? And I think that is inter interesting for people. So I enjoy it. Look at that, let me hear it. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Federer may enjoy the attention he gets, but losing on the pool table isn't easy to stomach. All right. One more. Winning in billiard against Tim Henman on TV. That's not the easiest thing to do. Second time I've beaten him this year. But how was it in practice, by the way? <laughs> Floodlights illuminate the Westside Stadium for the first night match of the Masters Cup. In the treatment room, a surprisingly chilled Carlos Moya is minutes away from his first round match against Leighton Hewitt. Uh, now uh, I didn't compete for more than a half, and he's a master, so uh, a little bit nervous, but I try to stay calm. Ale, come on. As part of his pre-match routine, Moya warms up on a nearby practice court, waiting for officials to take him into the stadium. Hey, uh, Stefan. Yes. I just stepped out here to where Moya's hitting. I guess it's, let's see, it looks like a fairly heavy sprinkle there. But rain threatens to upset Moya's preparations. A shower could delay the match. That decision rests on the shoulders of ATP supervisor Mark Darby. For the time being, we'll wait, huh? Yep. After only a 20-minute delay, Moyer and Hewitt can make a start on their first match. But with the score at 5-4 in the first set, the rain starts again. It's a disappointing end to the day.